Okay, this is the second part of the tutorial for Hallelujah I Love Say. Beautiful song. Okay. So, let's get the guitar in the view. Okay, so this is the verse. Start at the beginning. Um, so bar chords we're using the F, A7, B flat seven. So um, yeah, the F's on the first fret, the, the third finger. Sixth fret, take off your finger to make it a seven. Seventh fret. So uh, fifth fret, the A, sixth fret, the B flat. Blocking here is um, the E, the D, and the B strings. So your ring finger is on the eighth fret of the low E string. Your pinky is on the eighth fret of the B string. Your third finger is on the sixth fret of the B string. Second time, you don't do this part. Instead of doing that, you do this. Okay. So with this first finger on the A string, uh, one, fuck first fret, fuck the second fret, and one for the third fret. So you put your first finger over the D in the D string, and then you put your ring finger over the third fret of the G and the B string, and then you pluck again first frets, and you hammer on your middle finger onto the second fret of the G string. I mean, you can you can do it with different fingers if you like. This is just how I do it. So play around with it, uh, see what feels good for you. So, so the A string, first, second, third, first fret. G and the B string, third fret of G and the B string, first again, and on to the second fret of the G string. And then you finish with a low F. So first fret, use your thumb here, on the first fret of the low E string. Okay, and this is a really cool bit. First fret, put your first fret, um, you put your ring finger on the fifth fret of the G string, put your first finger on the third fret of the B string, and you pluck the A string, the G, and the B string. Okay. Once you pluck to a three, like that, you hammer on your third, your middle finger onto the fourth fret of the B string. You want to stop it quite quickly, so. Bit. Put your first finger on the fifth fret of the D of the B string, put your middle finger over the sixth fret of the G and the B string, and pluck the A, B, G, and B strings. And then here, put your it's kind of like a B flat, except just take off your ring and pinky fingers, pluck the E, D, G, B strings. And then um, the last bit is. Okay, so, middle finger on the second fret of the A string, first finger on the G, on the first fret, first finger on the first fret of the G and the E string, and then pinky on the third fret of the B string. Yes. 
what it should sound like. Okay. And then just play this. Plug the same strings in the same position, but move it all up three frets. Do the same, move up again three frets. This is the last cut. Oh. And so, it's just an F. Cut the bass string. Then cut the G, B, and E strings. And then it's an A7. You don't play the A string of the bass note, you play the E of the bass note. Okay, so you cut the E string, the D, the G, and the B strings. If you don't know what an A7 is, second fret on the D, D string, second fret on the B string. Go play the D string, second fret on the uh, second finger, middle finger on the second fret of the G string, ring finger on the third fret of the B string, first finger on the first fret of the E string. Then you just move your ring finger on the third fret of the A string. So you play the B string now. Then you play a B. And then to lead up to that little riff, you just press, you press, you play, open E string, second fret, then on the third fret, then you go back into that riff. Then B, C. So uh, we'll go through it slowly from the top from there. Um, and yeah, that's all that needs to be done for now. And I'll, uh, once we get through that, I'll post up part three in a few weeks. So. Questions, leave comments.